All right, so we got some gaming drama today. We got Starfield. Uh, we got we have a lot of people, you know, talking a lot of bad stuff about Starfield. We got IG and they released a video called "What's Going On with Starfield's Boundary Reach Drama." Another day, another daily fix. I'm Alan Wheeler, and on today's episode, we explain the latest Starfield drama. Yeah, Xbox, a lot of people are, are saying a lot of things about the game. Nintendo just announced their next direct. There's a lot to discuss, so let's get into. I just read to the Nintendo direct. Make sure you guys go check that out. But yeah, a lot of people were talking a lot of stuff about the game uh, today, y'all. Like, it's getting a lot of, like, bad reviews already, Starfield man. Starfield is almost out. We've been playing it, well, not me, but other people at IGN, and so have a bunch of other people. Players have been discovering all sorts of things in the game, and of course... A lot of people are saying stuff about the graphics and, and everything. Do ...in the open world. Recently, a leaked video of gameplay shows a player running into an error message after walking in one direction for about 10 minutes. The error says, boundary reached, with a prompt to open the map and explore elsewhere or return to your ship. Could that just this be seems to run like, the, to developer like the beta? That you can explore entire planets. In an August 21st exchange on X, user Jeff Threat tagged Bethesda's head of publishing, Pete Hines, and asked, quote, when I land on a planet, will I be able to explore that whole entire planet, end quote. Hines responded with, quote, yup. If you want, walk on, brave explorer, end quote. Yep, walk on right into an invisible wall, apparently. Of course, many took to social media I've... to call out Bethesda for lying about Starfield, but there were those who were quick to defend the game. As spotted by Kotaku, I streamer think that Darius Fears addressed the boundary reach issue, saying that it's not a persistent problem. Fears said, quote, there is nothing stopping you from exploring the planet. It just may be a loading screen, or you may have to land at the next spot, which is a short loading or cutscene to continue exploring the same planet. Okay. Paul Tassi said that the drama is, quote, very stupid, end quote. And honestly, very angry. stupid. Very. Nintendo Central's Jez Corden also chimed in, saying there's inaccurate information being spread online and to wait for proper reviews after the embargo lifts. Is, there's literally, like, no hmm. point in arguing with this. It, like, an arguing with this can't say that I've ever heard of that happening before, especially in video games. Well, if you want our opinion on Starfield, you can check out our review when the embargo lifts this Thursday. I'm so excited. In related Microsoft news, the company has removed okay. its $1 yeah, Xbox I seen this. trial just days before Starfield seen launches this. to the world. Coincidence? Maybe not. Mike I mean, well, it's just, you know, I mean, it's, I'm, it's a business move. Let's keep it real. It's a business move. Uh, I mean, think about it. Starfield is one of the most anticipated games of the year. Um, so it, it would only make sense that they removed it before Starfield came out. It, it only makes sense. I mean, I feel like anybody with the brain would be like, well, obviously they did it because Starfield is coming out. I mean, it makes sense. I don't think it's a bad thing that they did it. I mean, let's be real. If we all worked for Microsoft or we were, if we all, if, if we have the option, you know, to make like business moves for Microsoft, we would all do the same thing. Okay, let's let's not even. Oh well, why did they do that? No, let's be real. We, if we all had to make moves for Microsoft and make money for Microsoft, da, da 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 da, and we have one of the biggest anticipated games dropping this year, and we have our one dollar Xbox Game Pass trial thing, oh no, we're gonna we're gonna shut that thing down so people can buy the buy the game. That's the whole point. I don't see, you know, I mean, obviously, I'm not talking to this guy right here. He's just reporting the news. But, you know, obviously, there's going to be people uh, out there. Oh, why did they do that? Da, 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 da. I mean, bro, it, it makes it makes sense. I mean, or maybe I'm just thinking about it from like a from like a business standpoint. I, I just feel like it just makes sense. I mean, if you have a if you have one of the most anticipated games dropping this year and you have um, and you have a, uh, a, a subscription type thing on your console um exclusively on your on your console that allows people to like um like you know um try out a game not try out but like play like a trial of, uh, um, of a game for one dollar but i have the biggest game in my back pocket about to release uh september 6th oh no. no 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 let's make these people buy the game you know, since it's the, you know, since it's like the biggest release, not the biggest release, sorry, since it's one of the biggest releases of the year or one of the most um, anticipated release. I won't say the biggest release, but I would probably say uh, one of the most anticipated, um, you know, video game releases of this year. So I'll, you know, take down the one dollar thing and then make the people. It's obvious. I don't understand how people and uh, some people will have their way with it, obviously, you know, and, and it's OK to have your own opinion, but it's just um 
but yeah, I just thought it makes sense. Um, on to the whole um, Starfield thing. Um, first of all, I've seen a lot of hate, man. A lot. And I didn't even go on Twitter yet. You know, listen, if I catch hate, not me, but if I see hate from something and I didn't go on Twitter, you know Twitter is frying this game. It, it, bro, I've seen... Um, Oh my God, what did I see it from? I've seen um, some like review, like uh, titles on YouTube saying that, oh my God, uh, Starfield is garbage, da 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 da. I've seen on Instagram uh, and, and like some comments because I follow a lot of uh, video game companies and video game um, like console, like Instagram, stuff like that. And so I've seen like a lot of people, you know, um, and obviously like my whole Instagram feed is, is filled with like Starfield, right? And so I, you, you go in the comments, everybody just roasting it, right? Saying that, oh my, it, it looks trash, da, da 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 right? And so at the end of the day, what I like to do is I like to actually see for myself and get my own, you know, um, opinion on it. I never like to go with other people's opinion. I just feel like that's, that's lame. Um, and, and, and yeah, that's just it. I'm never going to hop on the, the, the bandwagon, even though I never tried something or never like check something out before you know um and, and so um i found a 40 minute gameplay that we're gonna watch not the whole 40 minutes but we're just gonna skip through to see like what we like or whatever and then i seen this with a whole uh boundary reach thing you know um like the invisible wall basically on on some planets even though starfield was supposed to be a a literal a, a no a legit literal open world game to where you can explore the whole planet you can like go in space and do you know whatever and so i mean again i didn't you know i didn't react to the gameplay yet so you know i i don't know yet so we're going to react to the gameplay um but this is one of the most anticipated games you know um and did i expect this game to have problems yeah because every game has problems um when when I say problems, I don't mean like uh, like you know like hardcore like third degree skin burn problems. I mean like glitches or whatever you know you know of that sort. Um, but but yeah, man, I I don't you know I'm excited, but also I'm kind of nervous because I'm like, damn, man, I've really been you know waiting for this game for a long time, and if I see this game and it's not you know looking right and I don't like it, then I'm gonna be a little disappointed. So I'm 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 gonna give my like my my fair point, but um other than that. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this? This, this whole uh, boundary reach thing. See you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And.